In this video we're going to take a look at a very simple example on how to display a message using the AND tool. And for this purpose we're actually going to create an XML document within which we'll specify all the list of tasks that we want AND to perform. And the way we specify all these tasks is by using the standard tag names associated with each one of these tasks. An example of task could be displaying a message or compiling a Java file. Likewise, we have list of tags associated with each and every task that we can perform using AND. But in this example, we're just concerned about a couple of tasks. The first task is to display a message. Obviously, the message is going to be our good old hello world message. And the other task is to simply create a directory or folder. Once we define those tasks using their associated standard tag names, we're actually going to wrap those tasks with a target tag. So the target tag is actually going to act like a container that holds list of tasks and this target tag is actually associated with a name. So that at later point of time we can call this target using that name and so our task will get executed. But where do we tell the ant to call this target using that name? We're going to specify that name as part of the project tag which is the root tag of all the tags residing in the XML and as a mandatory attribute to this tag we need to specify at least one target name and we're going to specify the name of this target and ultimately Ant will perform all the list of tasks as simple as that and this XML document in itself is useless it's not going to perform anything unless we feed that XML document to the AND script. Once we feed that XML document to the AND script, the AND script is actually going to pass through all the list of tasks and then the AND tool will make use of all the list of libraries that we have downloaded to perform, you know, to display the message or to create a folder, etc. So that's all there is to it. Let's try to create an XML file. Let's create a folder first. Let's call it, we can give it any name of your choice, inside which I'm going to create an XML document. I'm going to call it some name, you can give any name of your choice and make sure that you give the extension as XML. And I'm going to open with Notepad++. It's a very good handy tool. If you don't have Notepad++, I would recommend you to install one. So just as with any XML document, we're going to define the encoding that is being used as well as the version. If you've used XML for a while, then you would probably know what this means. I'm going to set the version to 1.0 and encoding to UTF-8 and we'll end the tag. Now here is where our work begins. So let me specify a task that will display a message. So the name that I'm going to use is echo and this is going to accept one attribute message and this is basically the message that we wanted to display. Hello world. I'm going to end the tag. And the other task that we wanted to do is to create a directory and for that I'm going to use this tag makedir, stands for make directory. I'm going to specify the name of the directory. And by default, it is going to create directory in the same directory where this file is residing. New directory, whatever the name that you would like to give. And as I mentioned, we need to wrap all these tasks inside the target tag. And target tag goes with a name attribute and you can give any name of your choice. I'm going to say test and we're going to have the end tag as well. And our parent tag which will be project tag and as a mandatory attribute we need to provide the default target that we want the and tool to call. In this case we're going to call our target which we have just created 
and that's all there is to it. We're pretty much done. Just give proper indentation so that it looks a little neat. And now all we have to do is to navigate to this directory in our command processor and then say ant you need to provide an argument that is build file and you will provide the name of that XML some name dot XML now notice that we're able to run this uh, script and from this directory because we had set the path variable in Windows environment variables this wouldn't have been happening without setting it so let's hit enter and see what's going to happen and sure enough you see that it has listed the target test as well as list of tasks within the square brackets echo and make dir and finally we've seen this message build successful which means there were no errors we're pretty good if you go to this directory we indeed have this new directory created as well as we have seen this message hello world now lastly I'd like to mention that we have given the name to be some name.xml but instead if you would give build.xml then you don't have to specify it while running the command you can just say ant because by default ant will assume the file name to be build.xml and this will yield the same result and in here you didn't see this uh, make dir because the directory is already created anyway more on tasks on coming videos this example is just simply to give you an idea on how the ant works etc so basically all these tags so basically for all these tasks that we defined in here there's some kind of a code associated with it and that code resides in the libraries that we have downloaded the ant will make use of those libraries to perform our tasks and this is what ultimately we want ant tool to help us with to perform our tasks so with this we had a good start with ant so now let's explore more see you soon